Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Let's go. Did you see this guy who went missing for filming a TikTok of this like mountain and in the distance on top of the mountain you see this giant, like this huge creature walking on top of it. This is a real story. Yeah, it's real. So in this video, this guy named Luke Nichols was actually just driving on the road and in the distance he sees this giant creature walking on top of the mountain. Like it's huge, you can tell. And after he caught the giant, he went back three days later to the same location to see if he was there and the giant was gone. Showing that it was actually real and it wasn't like some kind of structure or like a tree. There was actually someone there. So whatever this is, it must have moved. Yeah, and what's really scary is that People that live in the town have also said they've seen the giant. And they actually found in some caves in the area, these drawings of the giant. There's drawings? Yeah, so Luke Nichols and started trying to find this giant. And when he went back to the area, he saw a UFO in the sky and he started filming it. But when he wanted to get closer to the UFO, all of a sudden this car started following him. And then he started making videos about how the CIA is trying to follow him. And try what? Yeah, so he found something that he found something that either he wasn't supposed to see. He was just making it up. I don't know. Dude, that's scary. Here in the Philippines, we have a feast called Gigantes Festival. Gigantes meaning giants. We do believe in giants here. How about you? Do you think giants exist? Every time I went to the Grammys, I'm in a category with Eminem and Ja Rule and these motherfuckers were killing this shit. Jay-Z, DMX, Luda's huge artist but when it comes to these motherfuckers yeah. i'm losing every motherfucking award right you're not an illuminati yet <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you, yeah, no, it's all good. So, so there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an illuminati thing and it had to be one or the other of us and decisions had to be made so it was both of us we were equal one of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were gonna pay him 10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. Fatality. Well, who says you can only be offered once? And who says he doesn't get, he didn't get any other offers. Maybe it's just a different type of contract, you know? Things humans weren't meant to see. A man traveled to Egypt and placed a remote controlled car inside one of the pyramids. The original poster claimed to have found something the government would want to keep a secret. He also wanted to be paid $5 million for the rest of the footage to be revealed but it never did. gets deeper it shows what appears to be a tall figure inside the chambers. I guess no one wants to pay the 5 million. Anybody knows what happened to the guy? Try to warn us. Do you know why Prince, the famous rock star that was a friend of mine, do you know why he called himself the artist when he came back. Calls himself the artist because that's what they call us in our contracts. Oh, these contracts are crazy. You should hear the terminology they say in these contracts. To use your name and likeness and perpetuity throughout the universe, who the fuck could possibly know what that means? Nobody does. It's so complicated, in fact, that when you're a kid like me, you have to hire somebody to tell you what that means. 
and you sit down at a table and you do the contract game. And that's how I got with Comedy Central. I signed the contract. But I signed the contract the way that a 28 year old expecting father that was broke signs a contract. I was desperate, I needed a way out, and it wasn't good money, and it wasn't good circumstances, but uh, what else am I gonna do, I said. And all these white people sitting at that table told me, trust us, Dave, it's a good contract. And I looked around the table and they all seemed to agree it was a good contract. But what if, what if it was like that game of three card Monty? What if they were all friends and I didn't know it? Do you agree with Dave Chappelle? Could there be a darker side to these contracts? Or is he making this up? Drop it in the comments. And TikTok, this video is for entertainment purposes only. How about the artist formerly known as Dave Chappelle? Do you believe him? Do you believe he is and he was real? Everything seems pretty normal up until this point. You'll see some pictures here in a moment, but then about here, things get a little strange. So now we're going to go through a series of pictures where you see the little girl have a range of emotions. And then right about here, she sees something wrong as he pulls away. What does she see? Well, we're all about to see it for ourselves as he stands up and looks at the camera right here. What's weird is somehow the guy holding the microphone misses this part. But here very soon, he's going to notice something that is amiss. I think that'll be right about here. And he looks a little this. I think that'll be right about here. And he looks a little disturbed. After seeing this, he quickly walks away. And then acts like nothing ever happened. Look at his face. Yikes. You also see a couple of Elvis's men uh, seeing everything as it happens. One of them steps in front of the camera. The other man goes directly for the eye that was just melting. Here we go again in real time. See how this is guy step in front of the camera right here? Then the other guy goes right for the eye. He that guy moving straight for the eye? It's something. This movie is closer to reality than we think. Look, lady, we're in trouble. The whole world's in trouble. They're all around us and we never knew it. You can only see them with these special glasses. I swear to you, we're being controlled by these things. I don't know what they are or where they came from, but we right. gotta stop them. All right. If you want me to look through your sunglasses, I'll look through your sunglasses. If I don't see what you see, I'm gonna see it anyway. You ain't the first son of a bitch to wake up on first room. You bet on to the sea. The venom of snakes is under the lips. The mouths are full of bitterness and curses. And in their paths, nothing but ruin and misery. And the fear of God is not before the eyes. Taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful. And they have blinded us to the truth. Our human spirit is corrupted. Why do we worship free? Because outside the limit of our suffering, feeding us, perched on top of us from birth to death, are our owners. They have us. This could very well be an artistic representation of an actual truth. What that truth is, you may never know. But I think the sunglasses is not about the sunglasses per se. It's a form of an awakening of some sort. And the sunglasses is just an analogy for something that you can use to awaken you and see things around you that you wouldn't normally see. Ice wall has actually been found. They filmed it. Watch this.
then the ice starts to go from smooth to, to starting to break up here. No. Like, where aren't we right now? What planet is this? Just take a folk picture. I like how it, that Earth is meeting the glacier. You see that interesting shape? Oh, wow, it's yeah. Making? Just mesmerized. I've never seen terrain like this. It's so insane, isn't it? How yeah, this is right at the edge of it. Pools of water, that pool of ice, like cold. I don't even know what I, I hear. Like nothing you've ever seen. Uh, uh, nothing like nothing. It blows away seen. anything we've seen so far. Oh man, the ice below us is. <laughs> that's like the Grand Canyon of ice. Yep. I'm just like blown away looking up at the at the walls and the peaks next to us. The whole they keep telling us that the Antarctic is filled with ice, but the fact that we now know that there are dry lands, still, even if we want to visit them, there's the uh, Antarctic Treaty. If you know, you know. Home Alone, Polka King. What is that? Remember Home Alone 1? The mother, she finds out like, oh, we left Kevin. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's a moment where she's at Scranton Airport and she says, she's sitting down in the airport and she goes, if I have to sell my soul to the devil himself, oh, I, I'm going to get myself back to Kevin. I've heard of that, yeah, yeah. Remember? Uh-huh. Right when she said that, who appears? This guy named the Polka King. Mm. Now, in mythology, usually the devil is a what? A musician. Okay. The Polka King, he plays an instrument mm -hmm. and he's actually part of a band. Yeah. Right after she said that line, he appeared and offered her, okay, I can get you to where we're going. Mm -hmm. Like I'm headed that way. He said that? What's even crazier? Uh -huh. The Scranton Airport. You know where it's located? Where? It's located directly. He hacked and... That's just a small part of the movie, but the fact that they slip it in, we want to know who can notice, and if you know, you know. Looked at all of the code of ChatGPT uh -huh. and figured out that ChatGPT isn't a computer-generated system. What is it? It's actually someone's soul. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what, what do you mean that's someone's Check soul? Check this out. So they have the technology to take people's souls and consciousness and put it into technology. Now, this is where it's right if there's a scientist that knows and, and he's like a great inventor yeah yeah you would want to hold on to him as long as you can so that you can reap the benefits of later mm -hmm. just like in a uh, captain america there's a scientist that that created the super super uh soldier serum yeah yeah they kept his consciousness within the computer so he lives forever through a computer <laughs> now theory is chat gpt yeah. is exactly that it may not be just one soul that's in it but countless souls and that keeps getting added to if you who says it only works for chat gpt how about google how about your browser how about the internet hmm you zoom in on like the moon at night yeah it will show a clear image of the moon like oh shit it can zoom that zoom in and get every single detail right mm -hmm. But it's all fake. So they did a test. Yeah. And they took like a fake moon, just a white circle. They took a white circle out of paper, put it in their house, turned off all the lights, pretended it was the moon, uh -huh. and zoomed in, <laughs> and it created the moon. It literally created all the details of the moon fan. It was fake. Maybe it, it thought it was, and then like, they have like a general assumption of the moon, like they have it already generated, and then so if anything resembles the moon, it'll think it's the moon, you know? Yeah, exactly, so the yeah. line to us, bro, oh. look, look at this, look at this. So it's just one generated picture. Look, <clears throat> I, I don't know exactly what phones it does it with, yeah. but I know this one specifically, like that, the Samsung one, it's just a white circle, and then when they zoom in, look at this, look at this. See, it's just dark, you zoom in, it gets darker, it gets darker, and then boom. It shows it's the moon. Oh, that's kind of cool though. If you zoom in... Someone gotta give this a try. I mean... Hmm. Maybe I will. Let's see.
well I was on mute well, I'm still getting the handle on things still trying to figure out a few of the controls and I promise you things will be better and I hope to see you in the next video thank you